I'll, I'll try to give you the best simple explanation I can give you. It's, it's a. Uh, I forgot. I forgot the term. You pick up the phone, and you solve pre people's problems at home, and they're very common issues. So it's just like, yeah, we're a, we're, we work in a hotline, and we get we solve people's issues. We give them the advice or sh shit that they need to solve the, the problem at home and uh, yeah customer service yeah it was a it was a it was a different term for it but i, but I forgot about it just a uh, telemarketer no that, that, that's it when you sell yeah you, you do customer service for, um from your phone yeah, and nothing bad happens. These are very common issues. It's, it's just very regular. General, yeah, helpline, helpline. That's the thing. That's the thing. All right. Yeah, it's just. It's gonna be common issues, you know. Nothing out of the ordinary. This court. Is that a? So that's it. Is it gonna, gonna open something else? No. Set weekly progress? No. Reddits, options. Man, I feel, feel old now already. Can I put it? Dyslexia font? I will like that. Thank you. Eh, that's not bad. That's, I appreciate that. Still a frequency without the radio host chick? Pretty much, yeah. And instead of like one issue, which is a serial killer, clearly, it's just a lot of issues. <laughs> Phobia toggles, arachnophobia, insects, dark holes, being watched, claustrophobia, dogs, damn. Pick the Arachnophobia one, please. Alright. Alright, let's... Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires. Flooding, the black mold, metamorphic. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. I mean, who hasn't? Who hasn't suffered from that, right? Gemini Home Entertainment already? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of analog horror. Mailbox. Welcome. What was that? Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Okay, that's a better... Yeah, our responder. Your supervisor name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today for to brief you on, on your duties. And we'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will be qualified to receive our daily employee coupons or car and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, Home Safety Hotline Corporate. Attention, call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice a video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these, they will be cleared up in due time. This program is giving me PTSD. Yeah, it's sending me back. I'm getting nostalgic with this. This. It's 1998, yeah. Oh, so this, I played the game from the, 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 person, the person that made this game before. It was the one that we were watching TV and we kept switching channels. 
here in the ALM. <laughs> Let me lower it a bit. Okay, so we can shift, clock in. But we're gonna get get your phone emotes ready. On current color, symmetry selected. Three. Actions. <laughs> it was so. I did react so fast. I going to make a shitty ring ring phone that loud noise got to me and it reminded me of so many old effects that are horrible. I, it's reminding me of the messenger. Uh, when you shake someone's messenger. Like, to, to find a digital version opening and closing a drawer. <laughs> In a minute! Hang on. I'm, I'm cleaning my mistakes, okay? Hang on. Almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just dig through the... Through the, through the pop-up windows. There. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Cool. I used to have a job similar to this one. It, it, it lasted very, it was very brief, but I, I had something like this. Bed bugs. Sorry about that. Bed bugs are small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans and other mammals. Their tendency to inhabit sleeping areas of the home. Homeowners infested with bed bugs often report itchiness. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Please hold. Okay. Those books are not known to transmit any dangerous diseases and are relatively harmless to humans. However, their presence can often attract other pests and use them as food for food source. Those books have developed a resistance on the majority of common pesticides and are therefore quite difficult to remove. There is a way to utilize HSH pest removal services. Bees! It's definitely not bees. The black mold, carpenter ant, cockroaches, gopher. <laughs> a house fly, a house spider. Oh, there's the arachnophobia mode. Mice. Oh. Raccoon, Thermite, Six, Well, Some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Could it be black mold? Black mold is a common household fungus known to grow in moist, warm locations. It appears frequently as small black spots. Homeowners with black mold infestations frequently report a musty smell, allergy reactions, or breathing problems. I keep telling about specks of dirt. My spook? I don't think so. Because it says 
Well, it doesn't say exactly where. Black wall is not immediately dangerous to humans, but enough of it can cause damage to household integrity, making it a long-term danger. It's also known to cause allergic reactions or breathing problems. Black wall can be removed with regular cleaning supplies and maintenance, and can be prevented with good ventilation and high moisture areas of the home. Okay, what about mice? Mice are small, worthless. Hey! Rodents commonly found in the household. Homeowners with a mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sound of squeaking. It doesn't sound like it. Oh, uh, well, if it's happening indoors in the. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be the black mold. Read the other ones. These. These are small matriarchal flying insects known to build a large hive structures in high places, often in trees, attics, or roofs. They obey their queen. Homeowners infected with bees sometimes report buzzing, stings, or frequent bee sightings. Jesus Christ. Oh. Father. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. But don't have ears. <laughs> yeah. Problem solved, lady. Goodbye. Please hold. In the attic. That's mouse poop too. That sounds like... Okay, it's not bed bug. It says attic. That's in the attic. Let's read the mice entry. Gopher. The gopher. Small brown furry mammals with a large front teeth that are known to live... For living in burrows. Okay, it's, it doesn't sound like it. They can become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly damaging gardens. Yeah, it's not. It's Gophers are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies. A caution around them is advised. Do not attempt to approach a gopher directly. To evict gophers from the birds, a variety of natural deterrents can be placed around your property. Growing plants that repel gophers, such as a sage or thyme, can also serve to persuade gophers to move away from your property. For more persistent infestations, it is advised to utilize pest removal service. Housefly. Yeah, check that out. This one, huh? Oh, that sounds cute! <laughs> Do they have... Cockroaches have... Okay, thank god, no. Small insect not to go on household. I... It says... I can't sleep at night because of this annoying... Little sound coming from my attic. It sounded... Wait, it sounded like a mouse. It sound does a black mold made. Does a black mold have sound? No, it does not. I don't think bees will be in your attic. Gopher will be on your garden, so no. House spider. This is some small eight legged creatures that commonly nest near inside homes that are known to be in a sticky thread, like webs or traps, small flies, or other insects. Report websites. Bat? They should be a bat. Is it a bat? Bed bugs, no. Should be like up here, but no, it just right starts with E instead of A. So there's no wait down ticks. Well arachnids known to feed on human and animal blood and most commonly found in dog grass. No. Termites. Maybe termites. Small insects known for consuming decaying plant material, particularly wood. Homeowners with a termite infestation often report peeling paint, small holes in the drywall, or squeaky floorboards. That's not like it. No, no, ticks are disgusting. Ticks are awful, I do not want to see them. Raccoons are small nocturnal mammals with grey and brown fur, known for their tendency to rummage through garbage cans or nest in attics. Homeowners infected with raccoons often report frequent garbage spills or clattering sounds at night. 
Dragons are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so caution around this advice. Additionally, their feces can contain deadly parasites, which is accidentally, if accidentally inhaled or in ingested, can cause progressive neurological damage to humans or eventual death. Raccoons are quite intelligent and are thus quite tricky to remove from us home safely. Preventative measures include securing trash cans and blocking any potential outdoor access to attics. What about mice? Mice has more wordless rodents. Don't say that. <laughs> Fucking. No randos. Okay. Mice are capable of carrying any number of diseases, so they serve as indirect danger to most humans and should be dealt with immediately. Common removal methods of mice include the use of pesticides, introduction of a house cat to the household, and various kinds of bait traps. These can prove effective, uh, effective for small populations. Jibber is a fucking menace. Jibber is a killer. Like, there was one time when I went to sleep, like, he, he went out at night. The next day I woke up, they were just, like, on my front door, they were just feathers. Just feathers. <laughs> like, he left a message. <laughs> well, one time he's just like, n not even a body or anything, just feathers. <laughs> Like a pile of feathers. <laughs> he was a Olivia's or feathers coward. <laughs> yeah, like he left a fucking message. But yeah, that was his a fucking minute. Okay. Hi, I'm hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. Raccoons don't make that noise, so I think it's, despite what it says about raccoons hiding in an attic, it's the sound that's kind of like indicating to the mice. Imagine that that's Jira's <laughs> calling card. <laughs> Creaky door? I don't think the creaky door is a hassle right now. One time I had to break into a neighbor's house while they were on vacation to feed their cats because they left them behind. And on the last day he gave me a death <laughs> Oh man, there's something else. Yeah, I'm gonna go with... Nice. Let's see what else we have here. Mole. Have I read this one? No. Moles are small, dark brown, furry mammals with pointed pick muscles that are known to, for living in deep burrows. Their burrows tend to look like volcano shaped mounds. They are known to eat insects. Bam bam break them. <laughs> Moles are capable of biting humans. So it's like gopher, but like why is. Hmm. Yes. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Please hold. More also capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies, so keep caution around them as advice. They also have close relations to the ones beneath the soil. Which can cause further danger if provoked. Moles are persistent and cannot usually be persuaded to leave on their own. However, moles can be trapped and removed manually using a variety of common humane mammal traps. Warning! Never kill a mole! One can also utilize pest removal service. Okay, so... What's the difference between this and a gopher? All around for large front teeth that are known for living in the burrows again become pests if they choose to burrow their property. Gophers are killed by humans from deadly seas such as... Okay, what's the difference?
I called you guys about some crap in my yard and I was told it wasn't anything to worry about. Well, piles of crap. The mo yeah, I was thinking that the moles leave a pile, apparently. Like, it, it states specifically that they leave like a volcano shape. Tell him he's. <laughs> Tell him it's bees. Raccoon to say something about garden? No. Thermites, ticks. Bet more than go oh, mold. Uh, it's something like the the, the 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 fact that the mole sounds more threatening than the gopher is what worries me <laughs> because it says. They all have close relations to the ones beneath the soil. <laughs> okay, let's go with more. Probably. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm nailing it. Maybe I'm amazing. Red mice, red mole, raccoon, we red. Spots in the kitchen. Look at him in. Look at him in. What? I think that's go first. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? <laughs> Please hold. Ticks? Oh wait, ticks are very small arachnids known to feed on human and animal blood. They're most commonly found in tall grass. They to their host for often unseen and burrow their head to the flesh of the victim. Those will often report symptoms of illness such as fever. Okay, that, that was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Although you can remove ticks once they have invaded your home with common pesticides, it is too late to prevent any diseases they have transmitted. Instead, prevent prevent ticks from entering your household in the first place by treating the surrounding area with pesticides and keeping a tidy, weed-free lawn. How do we tell Tim that his son is gonna die? <laughs> No, it doesn't seem like it. 
No, this is just settings. This is just pause. Look, Tim, I think... I, I, I would... I would say... <laughs> I would pray for your kid, I think. <laughs> Yeah, they all de a great deal on BOGO comments. <laughs> Are your shitty son's affairs in order? Tex can also make you allergic to red meat. Oh, I didn't know that. Go with Tex. He looks so sad. Him looks so sad in that picture. Alright, what could have been on the... You should have sent that you have reached the end of your schedule. It sounded like I only got one of them wrong. Oh, what could have been? I don't know what. Got my first day done. Quit before it. Quit before it. Yola Sate. Oh, good night, Loon. Uh, you don't know me, but d d d d d d I you was to have your your job. Oh, you are in dang Wait a day before oh, it's too late. Whoa, <laughs> don't it's it is not too latri to quit it freely to suit me. Goddamn spam. I love even when people tell them to quit their job. <laughs> Alright, let's clock in. We have new ones, we unlock. Does it look like it? Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm like born. What the fuck was the thing in the kitchen? It was not, it was not termites, it was not a raccoon. It was not a Hello, it's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. Okay. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Okay. Permission has been updated and new entries now available. House fires, frozen pipes, fracture hub, the false beat, and Anything I can do to <laughs> sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Please hold. Color grows. Carbon monoxide. Bad teeth. Bad. Okay. Okay. Let's start with bad. What's a general term for various species of nocturnal flying mammals that can be identified by their usually large ears, wings, and dark fur? Bats most commonly find their way inside the home during the hibernation period before winter. Homeowners with a bat infestation will commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping at night at sightings of small dry pellet droppings. Bats are more dangerous than most household pets given their ability to fly, bite, and spread diseases such as rabies. They also commonly have associations with the ones above the soil, increasing the potential danger significantly. Tolerant and difficult to remove safely. 
Death teeth. Death teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infected with bed teeth often report mild discomfort when sleeping, such as tickling or itching, and more rarely slimy acidic residue. Oh! Oh, I hate that one! Oh my god! Bed teeth are not directly harmful to most humans given their brief sleeping schedules. However, they tend to gradually grow sharper over time if left untreated, which can lead to infections in the open woods they cause. There's above the soil and beneath the soil. There's two. To prevent growth of bed teeth, bed sheets or blankets should be washed regularly and inspected for rare, more persistent growth. That the cover should be scrubbed thoroughly or disposed entirely. Carbon monoxide. An invisible and odorless poisonous gas that produces whatever a fossil fuel is burned. CO buildup can be caused by poorly installed, maintained stove and water heater appliances or a result of poor ventilation. Homeowners affected by poisoning will often report headaches, dizziness, or le lethargy. Lethargy. Le le lethargy. I don't know what you expected. Carbon monoxide can cause death in humans and pets with enough exposure. It is a deadly serious threat to homeowners and should take precautions to prevent its buildup. Cellar growth. A large species of fungi that are known to grow in dark, damp environments such as cellars. Homeowners infected with cellar growths commonly report a slimy res residue, the sound of dripping or stretching, or strange glows coming from their cellar. Cellar growths most commonly grow in ceilings. Their weight can often cause duress to a home's foundation and such the removal should be prioritized. The slimy residue they drip onto the floor can also be toxic to small mammals or human children. When in their infancy, cellar growths can easily be scrapped off and the affected area should be sanitized to prevent further growth. If a cellar growth starts glowing or pulsating, it is no longer safe to remove in this manner. <laughs> it is highly advised to utilize the fungal removal services. Okay, hold on. You mentioned black mold. When there's black mold infestation frequently reported musty smell, allergic reactions, or breathing, pro breathing problems. It's gonna be the danger to humans when it can cause damage to household integrity, make a long term danger, and is known to cause allergic reactions, or. Yeah. Yeah, this is, he, he mentions ventilation, and it's like the keyword here. So, we should go. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'm, not, I'm not into that one. Black mold. So two seconds of the snippet and went mold. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, let's see what else. The common hob. Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in the household. They are small humanoid creatures with grey burlap like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, clinging them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Hello. Hello? Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Things as th house thieves that clean. Well, Please hold. Thoughts are not dangerous to humans on their own if provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Thoughts cannot be compelled to live on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. Okay. They are small human creatures known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances. It sounds like that. What about this desk hob? Oh, look, it's down there. Hang on. Let me, let me hear it. No, that does not sound. Does not sound. 
does not spark joy. Some species of hobbit are known for to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures. They regularly like to tie their homes and will frequently sort and order materials on the desk for the, to their liking. They are physically smaller to other hobs, or are generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. Thieves that clean. I'm hearing this noise coming from the living room. It's not a desk hob. Sounds like me, but no one's giving me anything in the wall. <laughs> false beat. False beasts are creatures with a beat like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. False beasts are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human's stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. Oh my god! This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of human's life. Ugh. Only find themselves in gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to contend with false beets, it is a right to avoid growing beets. A swallow false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, anyway, hob. It's a hob. Fracture hob. No, oh, fracture hobs are subspecies of hobs that are known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes they inhabit. They are physically similar to other hobs in stature and size. But Yo, Buzz Goober here. Been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. Okay. They're physically small, similar to the hobs in stature and size, with the obsession generally longer while their hair locks. They also bear a false face. Fracture hops are not dangerous on their own, but fractures and cracks they cause can lead to foundational issues in the home. Obviously. Like in the other hob, they are also capable of metamorphos metamorphosing. Fracture hops cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further danger, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please! Please hold. It's a house fire now. The frozen pipes. Commonly household hazard during cold seasons, characterized by the water inside pipes freezing and expanding. Causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks, homeowners with frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells, banging and whistling sounds coming from the pipes, or leakage. Frozen pipes can lead to bursting and water damage, which can, both, which can be both costly and dangerous to own. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing it to be like, immersed. This. Okay, it doesn't sound like... I was gonna say a bat, but no. It's just, it is... Betty, I was thinking that, but that would not that would not justify the sound inside the walls because she's she specifically said I hear something crawling in the walls and bed teeth is just just the bed. Says I found teeth marks on my bedpost, so it's probably a rodent. That topic I hear I hear my dog <laughs> running outside. Nice. What the fuck is Betty? Oh, you didn't read that one? You, you didn't hear me with that one? Betty are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the other side of bedsheets, blankets, or comforters. 
Commoners infected with bad teeth often report mild discomfort when sleeping, such as tickling or itching. Disgusting. It's fucking awful. Okay, what about mice? Commoners with a mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sound of squeaking. Mice are capable of carrying any number of diseases. It doesn't sound like it. A pipe growth. Pipe growth are a type of fungus that are known for making homes inside damp, poop like structures such as pipes. Pipe growths often grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit. They will therefore clog the pipe indefinitely until their removal. Pipe growths are known to make loud, bubbling, digesting noises after they eat a full meal. Pipe growths are known to attempt to eat anything that comes inside their domain. Most commonly, accidents occur when a human child attempts to reach their hand inside their home. Do not attempt to reach your hand inside an active pipe grown home. They're otherwise harmless to humans. Remove a pipe grown so must Okay, it's definitely not this. Pipe hob. Oh, look, it's not right there. Pipe hobs are a subspecies of hobs that are known for being forms inside tube like structures such as pipes. They bear no false face and are much smaller than most hobs. They will commonly emerge from their home at night and consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area, cleaning it in the process. Pipe hops are not direct danger to humans, but their physical presence can sometimes cause leaks or clots over time. If provoked, they are also capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. A stair slug. Oh my god. There's also stair slugs are large dock sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infected with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on the on steps of or other household inclines. Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household and they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs, but the slimy residue they leave behind can lead dangerous accidents and slippage if not properly cleaned after. Should you wish to remove a stair slug from in the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with a thick barrier of salt. Do not attempt to apply salt directly. After the slug has dehydrated itself, you can dispose of its body. Imagine teaching this. <laughs> okay, I'm very curious because it says. I'm, I want to focus on teeth marks on bedpost. That means it has to be something, some uh, some kind of rodent that could be able to do that. You can throw the ball; it will take the entire day to get the ball and come back. Come on, bats! Only what sounds is scratching or flapping at night inside. It's a small dry pillow. Okay, it's not a bat. Not a cellar growth. Yeah, it sounds like mice. Why sounds like the only thing capable of doing this? Report gnaw marks. Yeah. Sounds so squeaking. It would be it would be the second case I said it was mice, so maybe the first one I got wrong. Yeah. I go with mice. Yeah, the the day before in game. Uh, I stated that something in an attic was mice. So maybe I got that wrong. But we'll see. Alright. What else have I not read? No, oh, that's all though. Just wait. Hey, I didn't read House Fire. This could probably be duped on purpose. Yeah, maybe. House fires. House fires are rapid combustion reactions that can occur inside a home. They are often caused by accident when cooking or, or on purpose by more malicious house fires. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. 
I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or drop things or whatever. Uh, okay, that's... Please hold. This one's really, really big. This one's really fucking big. But it says, I haven't seen any visible damage yet, or droppings. And it says it's a very faint scratching. Could it be a bat? Another way inside a home during their hibernation period before winter. Homeowners with a bat in position will commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping at night. Maybe it's a, a carpenter ant? Maybe it's something above? Sounds like scratching. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's um, asked like a mice or anything. There's no droppings or visible damage. Could be a carpenter ant. Because this thing matches. Hearing noise. About a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. It sounds like crashing or something. It's really quiet. One thing don't for next inside the wood. Homeowners infected with these pests sometimes report a faint rustling sound coming from their walls as the ants build their nest. Carpenter, carpenter ants aren't dangerous to humans, but they are known to bite when threatened. They also are known to spread disease and can cause damage to homes they nest within. Could be a carpenter ant. Not a mole, not a mice, not a raccoon. Not a stair slug. Termite? One thing for consuming the cane plant material, particularly wood. Homeowners with a termite infestation often report peeling paint, small holes in the drywall. Okay, no. Because this one has visible damage. So, I'm guessing. I am guessing carpenter ant. Because this is the only thing that matches. The only hint that you get a faint noise and there's no visible damage or droppings so yeah i think it's uh has to be has, has to be that I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet on that one Associated with Bob. That's like that's like Bob. The desk hub. This breaking into my house and going through my stuff. I know it's Bob from Akadi, he's always an envious of me. I yeah. yeah. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. They're physically similar to other hobs, but are generally much smaller and have a raspy loose hair. They're not very close face. They're not dangerous to humans if left unprovoked like any other hob. They are capable of metamorphosis. We said something about this. They regularly like to tie their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. He was a bomb. <laughs> Not a fracture. Oh, but it's not a. It just sounds like the only thing that would sort things in their own way sounds like a desk hob. Oh, 
like this vagueness to these hub creatures is very vague with the sound cool. Yeah, it looks funny. I'm betting this hub. Yeah, it's like I, I like that it's not like SCP type of creepy, which is like straight up something fucked up in evil, but it's something like more cryptid that sounds a bit like unsettling. <laughs> but it's not like fully evil. Like it's not just straight up malicious. Hopefully I got some right. It's too... it's too latte for you now. Dvei gfav you akasis to moria. Him for a different day. I wonder you a oh, woe if oh, you end up la, like me. You're eating me in this hole. The way at the end, found a me yet it's far safe. Etre. The new foul? Oh, yeah, I saw that oh, in, a, in a second. Our team is migrating our backend services onto a new hosting provider this week, so you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you are on the phone with a client. You'll be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of their network status. Huh. Congratulations, your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is used for a used horseshoe. Our stock of used horseshoes is as reliable as they are rusty. 90% of our supply are verifiably forged from real iron. Supplies run out quickly, so stock up all you can. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. A great deal for show. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks, man. Real estate update. Authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. Got okay. This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10:25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity. To your local authorities. Yeah. Wednesday. That's not how bad it's going. 
Is it? It's not. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. Let's see, a Bogart. Oh, that's a haunting image. <laughs> in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Please hold. I was gonna say, sounds like a stairs slug already. Hang on, let me just... What am I looking at here? Like, what am I looking at? Like, I, I see the, the shape of a face over there, but it's... Ugh. Bogarts is the general term of a metamorphosis pod. They are large, hairy humanoids between 6 to 7 feet tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. They're also known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, or electric outages. They also frequently observe their targets while they sleep. <laughs> oh, oh. Bogarts are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to the malicious nightly household activities which can often cause injury or death. They also react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Do not, under any circumstances, refer to an active Bogart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises, provided you do not speak of the Bogart at any time, in any fashion. It will remain in its original location. Oh my god, you see that? You see over here? This is where the eye should be, right? Look look over there. Artifact. I, I think it does get more clear. Forest artifacts are seemingly human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a, home, in, inside a home. They're known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can usually be heard by very young human children or small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. Oh. False artifacts, while not in the direct threat to adult humans, can pose significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard, while digestion can take upwards to several years to complete. <laughs> Starvation can be a more pressing concern. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. Pest removal services should be called to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory whisk to speed up the grieving process. <laughs> What's a memory whisk? It's live in you! I had to pass the fuck back out, but I love you. Thirst yeah, it's been three years. That's three. <laughs> Thank you so much, Is. I really hope you, you could you could watch this game because it's really fun. Alright. False rose bush. False rose bushes are large plant-like creatures that most commonly take on the appearance of a red rose bush. In place of roots, these creatures have two small humanoid feet that they use to chase down a prey. <laughs> oh I see it. Owners with false rose bushes sometimes report missing pets or children. Why? What? <laughs> Why? 
loves to beef with these creatures and kids. Holy shit. False rose bushes pose incredible danger to homeowners with children or pets. But their diet consists of small men. <laughs> and they are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Homeowners without children or pets face a reduced risk, but they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. <laughs> oh, I hate it! I love it! Oh my god, that's so that's so fucked up, but so funny. You should just like man your own business. It's only a bush just just start chasing you down. <laughs> Hi, Jaber. Where's Mac? Squid will walk. Yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe that's one of the footsteps. To remove a false rose bush from a garden inhabited, it is advised to keep Jaber to keep children or pets from venturing outside within its hunting range or for an extended period. If a false rose bush goes more than one month without eating, it will move on to a new territory on its own. Oh, so it just it won't starve. It, it will just fuck off. <laughs> A lamp sprite. Lamp sprites are commonly subspecies of sprites that make their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing burning smell in the home. Lamp sprites are not dangerous to humans unless provoked. Do not, under any circumstances, burn off the lamp or attempt to reach your hand inside the lamp when actively inhabited. Lamp sprites will leave on their own once a lamp of choice goes out on its own. At this point, they will attempt to seek out a new lamp. To prevent a lamp sprite from rehoming itself, ensure all household lamps are turned off until, until the expiration period. When the lamp sprite fails to activate Jibber. Jibber. Jibber, I can't read. Jibber. Can't read. Jibber. 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 Did you close the game on me? No, you did not. Okay. To prevent Jibber. Jibber. Leave the camera alone. Just walk up to you and sniff you. To prevent a lamp sprite from rehoming itself, ensure all household lamps are turned off until the expiration period. When the lamp sprite fails to find an active lamp, it will leave the home on its own. Memory Wisp. Due to clerical error, the audio sample provided by was incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month. Memory whiz are invisible and odorless household whiz that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners infected with memory whiz will often record missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Memory whiz are not a danger to the physical health of humans. However, their ability to affect human memory can sometimes lead to household accidents or reckless activity. Oh, so that's why it says with... That's why it says with this one. That's why this this log recommends your memory wisp. Just like you lost your kid, forget him. <laughs> He's gone. It's just it's just straight up selling you. If your kid got eaten, it's over. <laughs> like we can give you a memory wipe if you like, but yeah, then forget about it. <laughs> oh my god, that's evil. Memory Wiz will move out of the house on their own once they have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There is no need for further action. Oh yeah, it's just like, no, yeah, f fuck you. A Mirror Nymph. Mirror Nymphs are a subspecies of nymphs that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerby. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids, carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by Mirror Nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Meronyms, although a nuisance, are not direct danger to humans. Meronyms will wander to different locations provided nobody looks into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. Gotcha, jibber! Jesus Christ, calm down. Don't don't lay on the tablet, not the tablet. A tea sprite. Ugh, that's these sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are commonly they are known to feed off of tea and tea leaf residue. Homeowners infected with tea sprites commonly report leak-like droppings 
and sound of flooding near kitchens. These pranks are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal Fay flu, and should be removed as soon as possible. What's a Fay flu? These pranks can be removed but with various common household pesticides and traps provided, but they are baited with tea leaves. Avoid future infestation, infestation. Be sure to always clean teacups, kettles, and mugs after use. A toilet hub. Subspecies of hub that are known for homing inside toys. They bear false faces and have two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of their heads. Like most hobs, they tend to clean their homes when they're active at night, keeping the toilets they have it nearly spotless. I should call it the fatal flu. Oh, that, that's a missed opportunity. That would have been cool. <laughs> Vomit rainbows or some shit. Honestly, yeah. Toilet hobs are not dangerous on their own, but their physical presence with the toilet they have it. May result in plumbing, plumbing problems over time, such as leaks or clogs. Like any other hob, Chaver. Chaver, come on. Oh, he's attacking my hand. Like any other hob, they are also capable of metamorphosing. So the hobs turn into the Bogart. All the hobs cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further damage, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave an egg near the toilet each night before going to bed. Okay, I know we have somebody on the line, so. I need water, hang on. It's saying that it's not the steps of the creature. It's saying the steps of the ladder creak because of the weight of, of the creature on top of it. So it's not that the creature has legs or, or, or feet. Though, so it does sound like a... What is it? Stair slug. Yeah, this one. Large dog size. He also said that it's the size of a dog. He specifically said, almost as big as my dog. So it should... Sounds like that. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything. I'm gonna close enough to it to find out what it is. Okay, yeah, it's a stair slug. Let's go with a. Oh wait, there's more down there that I didn't read. Stair slug. There we go. A unicorn fungi. Unicorn fungi are rare horn shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry mammals and household felts. Oh. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this, uh, nasty smell. Please hold. They often affect the animal's position, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners would often report their pets furiously digging around their, or inside their home. Unicorn fungi are not directly harmful to humans, but they can often lead to other household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. Unicorn fungi will go away after a few months in the sun without treatment. They can, al they can also be treated with cryotherapy or removed surgically. If removed, it needs aspirin. If removal needs exped, exped, how do you say that word? Expediting, expediting. Prevent unicorn fungi from developing. Regularly bathe your pet, especially after any outdoor activity. Got it. Whistling fungi. Wait, what does that sound? No. The whistling fungi. Whistling fungi are small mushroom-like groves with many shell holes, small holes in their caps that frequently grow 
through drywall gaps and cracks. Homeowners infected with whistling fungi often reported the sudden whistling sound coming from the walls. Warning! If you ever hear whistling fungi dinging in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are really dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. If whistling fungi, fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, whistling fungi can be removed with common, common weed killers or by utilizing fungal removal services. Prevent any a whistling fungi infestation. Ensure there are no open cracks in your home. Wine Sprite. Subspecies of Sprite are known for consuming wine. There are small, large eye winged creatures with translucent skin that often appears red while they are feeding. A long probus proboscis that they used to drink. Homeowners infected with wine sprites only for broken glasses and their wine having rotten taste and smell. Wine sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, but they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal faith loop, and should be removed as soon as possible. Wine sprites can remove major scum and household. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good secretions. Oh. Good secretions are a pink this. This gives liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It is known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing sticky pooling buildup. Wood secretions can be deadly to humans causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Rapid translation of flesh. Keep animals and humans' children away from secretions at all costs, as its foul odor will interpret a sweet candle like smell to them, making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Ugh. Noises coming from the bathroom. Okay, there's a few things. Like, he said faucet, specifically. Is it, is it this one? Noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this nasty smell. Only household hazard during cold seasons characterized by the water inside pipes freezing and expanding, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. Homeowners with frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells, banging and whistling sounds coming from the pipes or leakage. Sounds like that. What's pipe growth? Or something known to make loud bubbling digestion noises when they get a full meal. Okay, it's not that. What about pipe hob? They will commonly emerge from their home at night and consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area, cleaning the process. They're not in danger, but their physical presence can sometimes cause leaks or clogs over time. If provoked, they're also capable of mysterious acts and metamorphosis. It doesn't specifically say anything about smell or noises. So I think it's frozen pipes. It has to be. Homeowners afflicted with mirror nymphs call report not being able to recognize their own face. That's not it. But the wife of this guy is dead and he cannot yet, so a me memory wisp?
Those in photo memory was will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Sounds pretty simple. I guess I'll go with that one. Memory was. <laughs> what? Oh, did you go to bed? Wait for the next one. My bed, I want to turn to see if, if they just go first. You see this one? The, the, the rose bush? Hey, yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. Whatever. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. Saw it, and I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> sounds so funny. The goober. Look at this one, Loon. It's a bush with legs that changes down kids. <laughs> It just it just targets kids and pets. Usually, uh, if there's a kid nearby, you just like starts running at him. <laughs> I, I love this one. This I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> it's just it's so fucking funny. What new entries have you unlocked? A uh, plenty. Uh, hi. I uh have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Bad teeth. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Fucking maniac! You, what you doing? <laughs> Please hold. From child size, will it run at me? It says... They cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. So maybe... <laughs> Files unlock frozen pipes, Pepto-Bismol wood, and monster under the stairs. Yep, we did. There's a a bow guard. Oh, there's a network error on the bow bo guard. A network error on the black wall as well. Oh, we have a network error, error overall. Okay, but it sounds like bad teeth. Bad teeth? If you, I don't think if you. You're my wife. <laughs> this entry cannot be loaded. Okay, it says that bad teeth are just fungi, sharp fungi that grows in your bed sheets and it just scratches it just scratches you while you sleep yeah I'm gonna go with how you can play that sometimes your network dies yeah it's pretty re realistic did I watch it this guy takes a bath once a week I could not fucking not still have the network error yeah Yeah, it will just won't load any. So the HSH include information for when my connection dies like <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think it's a solution there. We find solo. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling, I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. And how is this supposed to I think of that monologue weekly. <laughs> so yes, I do know. Okay, uh... Please hold. Oh, we're back. We're back. Okay. There is a false beat, which is a... Which is a creature that disguises as a beat. And if you eat it, you're dead. It just takes root in your stomach. There's... 
there's a rose bush that I mentioned. There's there's a pipe grove. There's the stair slug that we did had to deal with. If you eat it, you can't remove it. You don't die, but you're suffering for it. There's a stair slug. It's a giant fucking slug in your stairs. Unicorn fungi. That guy over there. There's a whistling fungi. There's the. Uh, I wanted to show you Bogart. Yeah, this one. It's, it's right there. Right there. It's just the thing that the hops turn into if they do metamorphosis. It's a hob. It's a tiny goblin that lives in your house and you need to feed it at night, otherwise, it gets angry and turns into a monster. Alright, so it says. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling. An important distinction to each. <laughs> okay, so I have to fracture hob? The fracture hub subspecies are grown known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes they inhabit. They're physically similar to other hobs in stature and size, with the exception of generally longer, wilder hair locks. Also bear a false face. Fracture hops are not dangerous on their own, but the fractures and cracks they cause can lead to foundational issues in the home. What is a termite? Owners will tell me special water report peeling paint, small holes in the drywall. She did not say holes in the wall, she said cracks. So I'm leaning towards Fracture Hob. Wish people left our slice of cheese for me. Sounds like a Fracture Hob. Oh yeah, this one's one of my favorites, Loon. This thing takes the, the form of any object in the house. And if a kid or a pet gets close to it, it, it eats it. And there is no solution for that. <laughs> the, the the entry says, try and get something to forget to memory wipe the identity of your of your of your deceased loved one, <laughs> because there's no solution for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with fracture hub. So yeah, just get over the grieving process. Yeah, it says, while not a direct threat to adult humans, but it's significant. Okay. Yeah. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream. What kind of joke is that? Okay, I don't it's remember been this a one. Week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! Okay, so yeah, this is, this is not a, a, a failed attempt. It's not somebody calling to complain. This is something I probably need to... Please hold. Yeah, it's something I need to deal with right now. No, weird noises coming from my living room. They could have probably mistaken it for a common hob. They probably thought it was a common hob. Something else. It's gold for scary. <laughs> yeah, because it said it says that a common hob says that they cannot be compelled to leave to their own. Once nested in a home. Instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosing by leaving a bowl of cream. He says that was not the solution. But it's not a common hob. Who did that? Good kitty, hi! How you been? It's been a while, how are you? Thank you for that. I'm trying to think what could be. to have power outages.
it was not the solution, but he didn't take the solution and I get to do it. Uh, just playing this game. It's it's really fun already. damage and power outages wait is it oh no oh he has a bogart oh no the the hub did metamorphosis oh it's a bogart dude get out of there oh no they are known for causing household accidents such as flooding fires or electric outages because so frequently observe the targets when they sleep so he did not take the warn the, the measurement seriously and he led the thing metamorphosis. He's done for. He's fucking done for. Extremely dangerous to humans and pets. They do malicious nightly household activities, which can often cause injury or death. They react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Do not under any circumstance refer to an active bogart by any name. Bogart, you're very fucking tall friend, yeah. Once you become more aware of his presence, simply bake the premises. Gary, get the fuck out of there. Gary, get the fuck out of there. Gary, Gary, you need to get out. So over. <laughs> Gary's fucking dumb. Gary's gonna fucking die. Stop looking at me. Okay. It's so bogo. <laughs> They did not read probably what it's uh science I'll, I'll check that in a second. Introducing our new our new office pet. We're excited to introduce you all to our brand new office pet, Whiskers! Whiskers loyal, friendly as in the serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome to see him wander by your deck. Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers. He's still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding time. Oh, look at that. Picard, cat! <laughs> Wasn't Whiskers someone's pet? Think so? Science mysteries. Are we going fire at all? No, not yet. I haven't. I got a few wrong calls, but the. the so far, so we're doing good. Whiskers was the lady's cat. Oh, you're nice. right. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is Mus Musculus Loquentis, otherwise known as the Smart Mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the Smart Mouse, perhaps even no. capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, 
I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. About to reschedule to next week, all the stapling, yeah, we will do that. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go get my food, then I can, I'll keep playing. So I'll leave you with some music. Uh, we're in Thursday in game. Uh, I did. I report a few. We had to report a Bogart. That was fun. Uh, yeah, I'm, I made some progress. It was just an hour and a half. Not much, I guess, because I don't know how long it takes. Yeah, I'll, uh, my, I, I need to Bogart. I saw the report. And you can see that the eyes light up if you scroll down and look away from it. <laughs> okay, nightmare fuel. All right. Uh. Yeah, yeah. We're on Thursday. You listen to the audio. Yeah, I. I because something that bothers me a lot about it because it's meant to. It's implying that somebody had to record the sound of that. But like the first part of that, you can hear like somebody opening a door, like sneaking up, and then you hear like the rises out and it just cuts off. So it's maybe this person that went to record the ball guard did not make it. Yeah, the audio are really fucking cool, cool detail on these. Right, let's see. Give me new ones, give me new entries. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> give me more entries, I need more. What's your name? Uh. Carmen? No, what's what was your name? Carol. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. 
I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Our eyes rest upon... Okay, thank you. The details are very small and very creepy. Yeah, it's like it's not like analog horror is straight up in your face. It's fucked up nightmare fear. It's more like so. I think the map is something wrong with her faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, cause we only eat fresh. Homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems up till now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water. So, can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? Damn. I have a theory of what that be. Please hold. Attic gnome. Oh, look at little guy. <laughs> Attic gnomes are so species of gnome known to mess nest in attics and ceilings. Homeowners infected with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings, or a surplus of dust coming out of the ventilation system. Danger! A attic gnomes feeding a habits can often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particles into the air, causing air quality issues in the household. They puke dust? <laughs> They're very easily frightening. To remove an gnome from the household, is recommended to dust and clean your audits and students regularly. A cellar grotto. Cellar grotto are large cave like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners with cellar grottos will often report a bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. Cellar grottos can introduce a number of dangerous pests into the home. The hiding humidity they introduce can cause warped floorboards, weakened foundations, and other hazards. Seen cellar grows. A fey feast. Fey feasts are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including fl flour, cornmeal, and various pieces of fungi. They are known to appear near eating areas of the home. These are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity, or else its continued presence can attract other household pests such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. Well, these are just the best. Yeah, this one, don't scare him, and it's a free vacuum. You know? A sign of the description is a missing child, but to forget about the child at this rate. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, Fae Flu! Oh! Oh! Fae Flu is a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household Fae. Symptoms of Fae Flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in the skin pores, oh, and blooming. Fae Flu is rarely fatal, but it can be, have a long lasting effect on the lifetime health of an un of an infected human. Long-term symptoms commonly include dizziness, fatigue, monocular vision, deliriousness, and endless dreams. Holy, <laughs> there is no cure for Fey flu. However, one can take precaution against by keeping clean Fey-free home. Well, fuck. A floor roots. Floor roots are. It's gophers <laughs> again. Floor roots are. Tree like brown roots are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Floor roots grow slow enough to, that they serve very little danger to awake and aware human adults. However, if not spotted quickly, they are known to hu known strangling hazards for human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority in family household. These creatures all hate children. <laughs> Just like little Otik. Does <laughs> Children and pets are in danger. <laughs> the Horde? Hang on, there's a. Hold, hold on, there's noise for this one. Faithful have noise? No. Faithful is. 
the, the horde. The horde. Oh, I don't like that image. The horde is an invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household with. The horse's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make them prone to spread disease in the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are among the more common household hazards that can be introduced by the horse's presence. Once introduced to a home, the horde will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It is advised to sell one's home at the first sign of the horse's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly to prevent the horde from gathering in one's home. Mm. It is advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible and to not attract the horse's attention. The introduction of a hub to the household can often assist in this process. Oh, a hub can fight back and clean. <laughs> Laundry, no. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. Underknowns are suspicious of no white thick fiber like fur. They can fold their bodies into various shapes like dirty towels. Oh. Homeowners will laundry gnomes or they report loud rattling and banging sounds coming from the washing machine and missing socks. Yeah, because you fucking wash the fucker and he suffers. Laundry gnomes pose no direct threat to humans, though their lifestyles often lead to broken washing machines or dryers, which can occasionally cause small floods. Water damage can lead to further problems in the home, and as such laundry gnomes should not be left to their own devices. Laundry gnomes will move on from a home if they are no longer permitted to enter the washing machine. Great care should be taken to inspect each and every place of laundry before washing. A night gnome. Night gnomes are small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report setting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds during late hour. Hey, that. <laughs> I don't think it would be possible to sell a house with a whore. How you even get away with that? Uh, it's a be two bedroom, one office, three bathroom, one jacuzzi. This whore incoming in an attic. Oh. Night gnomes are not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should not consider wearing a sleeping mask to prevent being startled by their presence. <laughs> so, like, don't get jump scared by them. Night wisp are a subspecies of wisp in the form of bright floating lights. They are known to hover outside windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. Night wisps are not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to the whispers and following their directions. Sounds like a voice, it's, but it's like hard to tell what it's saying. Night wisps will move on to other homes in a week or so if they're ignored consistently. It is a right to drown out their whispers with music or wear sleeping masks to prevent sleep disruption. <laughs> Invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> it's just portal. Well enough. Portals are door-shaped openings in an outdoor to an outdoor location, other than the homeowners discover most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Portals can introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. It can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Here Dogecoin is about to skyrocket. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or other common building materials. The seal should be airtight as to not allow for anything to come inside the home. It's invited to utilize security services and triple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A seedling. Seedlings are small, small insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. What's an aphid? They are known for burrowing into an outdoor plant or garden, screening off the roots of nearby weeds. They, though their weed killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners, seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing from their food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling infested garden. They are known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. That was a garden pest. Oh, okay. okay. Remove seedlings from a garden. One should not go near the established feeding grounds. 
instead of one should use a hose, sprinklers or similar ranged devices to over water and drown out the ceilings from afar. A travel gnome. Gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers, introduce themselves to a new household, or are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways and will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil plants and commonly outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in a home if they continue to grow unabated. Spraying pesticides and weed killer in the home can deter the travel gnomes guarding the prospects, at which point it will wait for a new opportunity to travel to a better location. To encourage a travel gnome to relocate, one can invite others to stay at their household and create new opportunities in the travel to stow away in visitors' luggage. <laughs> She's like, make it somebody else's problem. <laughs> <laughs> Trick somebody into taking it home. <laughs> it's it's really fun. I love learning. This is so. There's so much world building and there's so many details. I love it. Okay, so right. Uh, faucet. You said. Want to come visit? No, I'm I'm good. Uh, night now. iPod. They bear no false face, smaller than most hops. They will commonly emerge from their home at night and consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area. Five holes are not direct danger to humans, but their physical presence can sometimes cause leaks or clogs over time. It does not sound like this one. I've been having the worst kind of stomach, stomach bug, it just aches and pains constantly, but after a month it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's gotta be something wrong with the water because we only eat fresh. Homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we've never had any problems up until now. The entire game's surveillance is so wild, like a mix of SCP with observation duty. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good combo. What about pipe growth? The type of fungus are known for making homes inside damp, tube like structures such as pipes. They often grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit, and they will therefore clog the pipe indefinitely until their removal. Pipe growths are known to make loud bubbling digestive noises after they eat a full meal. They're known to attempt to eat anything that comes inside their domain. Most commonly, accidents occur in human child attempts. It, it doesn't sound like that either. It's something more simple. He's not reporting any sounds. He's reporting so uh, the water being like affected. Please something more simple. Yeah, please don't look at him because I actually have no idea what this one could be. It's saying something about the water. We already picked frozen pipes. The fashion just just shit at cooking. <laughs> it's an option. Maybe black mold again? Oh no. Oh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We only eat fresh homegrown fruits and vegetables. False beat? Creature with a beat like appearance are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among the vegetables. Person's dead. Person's dead. False beats are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human's stomach. Feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime, they can cause digestive issues or potentially back problems for the course of a human's life. False beets only find themselves in gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to contain with false beets, it is advised to avoid growing beets. A swallow false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. Ash is dead. Uh, ash is. Uh, ash is dead. I'm sorry, dude. Out of my hands. Out of my hands. The one I'm most fascinated by, aside from the Bogart. My professional medical opinion is live with it or we can take it out, and you don't live without it. Hello? Oh no, did I get it wrong? I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my 
daughter has called Pest Control, and she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. It said that she reported cracks on the wall, and I thought it was like the... The fracture hall that leaves cracks on the wall. This persona? Yeah, apparently. The police told me to call this number, so I, uh, hope I got the right number here. Oh, Felicia. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Michael Myers. <laughs> There's a whole report of just Michael Myers and house after. Please hold. It's just a great time to invest into real estate. Okay, it said, she specifically said breathing, like uh, he, he, she could hear breathing, so it's maybe a uh, night known. Yeah, they are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Which is the fact that I now most frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy, heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Sylvia Nightwish? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm committing to this one. Alright, now what's the solution? I know we'll go on to other homes to become bored or restless by your, by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. There is no guarantee. However, they will become bored if you, by you, if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. Been longer for them than we gotta think it's a win. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna grab my food. Pick up the next call. Was one please hold it was one that said it would like cause trouble in the ventilation color grotto was it this one that smell no not this one attic yeah there was an attic the attic no one of them report knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings, or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation. Jibber! Jibber! Jibber, don't do this. Why? Oh. There may be some common problem with our home ventilation. A surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation system. Oh, 
Go, go get your food, go get your food. I think gnomes feeding Hanukkah may be a good boon to homeowners to consume. Thus, cobwebs in the household pets such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals. We can send large chip, but get out. Okay, fine, you can stay there. You can lie down there. Okay. It sounds like an attic gnome because it, it, it specifically said. Uh, the air quality. Yeah, so maybe it's an attic gnome because they hear something in the ceiling. And it's messing and it's giving dust to the it's spreading dust of air. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money on that one. interest you in a memory wisp <laughs> okay it says okay, you didn't clarify anything it's just a kid went missing in the bedroom the missing is a year son just sweetheart last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet not bees it, 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 it cannot possibly be bees Please hold. the bees took him <laughs> Carry him away. Oh, but there's oh man. He actually, he feels like a like a red herring. No, it's not a bed bugs ate him maybe. Uh, maybe a false artifact. Was a bath. Or roots? Rounders want to grow upwards. They were known for strangling hosser for human children. Okay, it, no, it went missing. Favor, you're gonna kick the camera. Don't do that. Just carry him off. Hi, hi, Southland. I actually don't know. I actually have no idea. If she didn't report anything out of the ordinary. But she made emphasis on the closet. Last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night. Checking his closet, messy closet for bees. Would a bullguard eat? No, a bullguard would be more dangerous. No, because there's nothing, nothing saying about night, night whisk doing something that's taking somebody away. My whispers are not dangerous to humans unless listen to or refrain from listening to their whispers and following their reactions. To go down the list of anything that is still small children or animals. Too big of a list. We, we, we are about to maybe. It's a gopher. It's finally a gopher now. 
floor rules? I already picked that one though. To go first, took the Fey Feast? No. That's. No. No. I actually have no idea. What did you pick? Uh, the, 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 I'm stumped on this. Oh, yeah. Cellar Gross? Yeah, don't you know? Cellar Gross. You picked Artifact? Yeah, because, like... I would have thought it's this one, but it's just, like... It doesn't say... It doesn't point out any other object. And there's... There's also the fact that they buzz. That these things buzz. They, 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 she did not point any of those things out. Yeah, something in his closet. Because they're seemingly designed to manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds that can usually only be heard by very young human children. Okay, but that one, no, hmm, no, no, but it's not. Because of, uh, maybe, oh, because Jeremy was afraid of bees. He thought he was hearing the buzzing of a bee, but no, it's, it's, that's, that's not enough. Wait, so it is a false artifact? Like, I'm not I'm not fully sure. Her bossing and thought it was bees. Okay, okay. Yeah, because like I'm, I was not fully sold on the idea. I, I wanted to say false artifact, but I feel like it was like a bit misleading. Plus this was to children, yeah. False artifacts will not have direct threat to adult humans can pose significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they are at risk of being encased within. As in case, no noise made, that, made by the prey can be heard. While digesting can take upwards to se of several years to complete, starvation can be more pressing concern. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object. Yeah, look at the, the final part of this one. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wish to speed up the grieving process. Kid's gone. <laughs> Kid's gone. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go false artifact. I'm gonna take a bite of my impact. Don't look. and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. What? Please hold. Who was the one with? That's Cobb's breadcrumbs. Fracture hub is. Yeah, okay, this might be it. Fracture hub. They are physically similar. To that. They are not dangerous on their own, but the fractures and cracks they cause can lead to foundational issues in the home. On several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously there. So maybe this person, the, per the person that owns this place, left cheese for this hog. Uh, 
Fragile health cannot be removed once they nest. Prevent further damage measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. The bite to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. Yeah. So it's implying that the previous owner had already dealt with this and left cheese for for this hob. I guess you should. I'm gonna go with that one. I'm putting money on that one. I wouldn't leave any cheese. False cheese. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm betting on that one. I'm still, I'm torn. What was the what was the other one that said that she had cracks? Was it like a a bug or something? Taking another light. Don't look. Like a fae, a fae flu, which is something that you cannot get rid of. It's something that you have to live with. But they did say like a. It's, it, it has to be fae flu. It has to. Like it sounds like it's straight up like fae flu because it's like pink. Amen. Let's get Amen. Stop downloading all episodes of Breaking Bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting. I can't, you can't, you can't. Okay, I'm, I'm telling you it's a fake loop. It is a mole? The only one that we have is a black mole, but we already answered that one. And the, the black mole already gave like more allergy type of response instead of like pink eye. I'm, 
I'm betting on safe though. Yeah, Faithful is the only one that sounds like it would be work. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found! She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. How can you tell if you get the stuff right? If you don't get, if you don't get the person that you report the issue, if you don't get a, another call from them shouting at you, you got it wrong. I hate you so much. But if as long as you don't get that, that means you got it right, because they sorted out the issue. Please hold. One second, let me finish my banana. Just like real life. <laughs> I think I have a theory. They 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 took the ch the moment to point out that their dog is missing. They get it right and they let a hall become a bogart. <laughs> so yeah, they're pointing out that the dog went missing. And there's one issue that I cannot check, I think. I can't, thank god. Okay, 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 okay. I thought I was like flying solo, but no. Unicorn. Unicorn fungi. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. Unicorn fungi are not deadly harm to, floor to humans, but they can often lead to other household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, waking up other things beneath the soil. Unicorn fungi will go away after a few months or its own without treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or removed surgically. Prevent unicorn fungi from the. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, they, they named it the dog, it says a greyhound. Or it sounds like termites with the dog is very unlikely to be eaten by termites unless it's made of wood. Yeah. Like, let's look at the termites. Once it's for consuming the cane plant material, particularly wood, homeowners with termite infestation often report peeling paint, small holes in the drywall, wiki floorboards. Okay, so la look at the difference here. The cane plant material uh, it says peeling paint, paint, small holes, and flo squeaky floorboards. But this guy is saying there's holes, like it's filled with holes. There's big wooden splinters. Uh, this is something about the garden, I think. Or my stupid item. <laughs> that one's going on inside my own home. There's holes all over my freaking house. Big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I got this big gaping one in my kitchen. No idea how freaking deep it goes. Yeah, this is, it has to be the unicorn, the unicorn fungi. Dog has a, that fungi. It started digging everywhere. I'm, I'm putting money on that one. Because it specifically points out the thing about the the bet. That's. I guess because it takes months for it to leave on its own, so maybe it keeps affecting the, the dog and it just goes to dig around elsewhere. Maybe. Meeting, have a look.
someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Now hold on. This is covered in soil and plants. Please hold. The hoard? The hoard in particular. The hoard says that it's a large quantity quantities of trash in the home making them to spend the season home. Rotten food, two syringes and rusty metal. It doesn't sound like ore, hoard. Because it's saying like there's objects, but she just said soil. Could be a fey thief? Made to large size piles of various edible food substances, typically including flour, cornmeal, various pieces of fungi, over near in areas on the. Oh, wait, that's a dining room. Not the living room. Are you just saying horde for, for the fact of just saying horde, or am I? You have a random rose bush in your house. That one should be outside. I don't think it's. Yeah, I need more. I are just saying for to throw me off. Something about the wood? I'm going to go to the girl, I'm going to go to the girl, I'm going to go to the property. I'm going to go to the garden, I'm going to go for it. Will never be a gopher. Just cover in soil, right? That's. It. <coughs> I'm sorry, DK. You gotta, you gotta accept the truth. Do that if they want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. living room. Back from vacation, the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. My living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a nursery. What was a nursery exactly? Oh wait. Oh because she- Oh because she came back from a trip. Because she came back from a trip in a, in a garden in a travel gnome leads. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I was thrown off by the word nursing because I did not know what it translated exactly because I know it was like nursing. It's like it's, it's, I was not sure what it, what it meant actually. Unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to new households. Their phone was going to hide for two areas of the globe. It can affect households in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. Dome horde. <laughs> it's travel now, it's travel now. Yeah, it, the, the thing that was throwing me off is that I did not know what nursery meant exactly. Traveling gnome horde. Okay, lady, you know what you must do. Send the gnome to somebody else, make it somebody else's problem.
All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Okay, I have two, two, two options on this. Please hold. Yeah, my favorite thing about the travel gnome is just like saying, yeah, basically, one can invite others to stay at their household and create new opportunities for the travel gnome to stow away in visitors' luggage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, sorry, you're dead. I'm sorry, there's no way. There's something in the basement. I'm thinking a cellar grotto. What's going to bad smell? Coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and a noble increase in large beetle frogs and related pests. Or do memory move? No, I don't think it's what it is. <laughs> Would give it a rest. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer. And here, medical all kinds of horrible noises. Sounds like it, there might be a lot of water down there. I don't know what it might be doing. They can introduce a number of dangerous pests, and the hiding humidity they introduce can cause warp floorboards, weaken foundations, and other houses. Cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. Their creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean, subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion, or consider utilizing. This. I remember this one. Oh, it's cellar growth. It did not mention anything about a glow. Size water. I'm making legs in people's homes. <laughs> it might be a grotto. Yeah, because a grotto is like it's the same. It, it, it specifically said like. A subterranean lake. Because as he sees water, he, he he's it smells like a sewer. It would be a grotto. We'll go for that one. see that the text said human DNA detected firm probably missed it not come at to the fall the wall is breach at dry pot the wall is breached it, it, it is not set up here I must find a new spot in the new ones I'm here. Oh, that's a cat. It's the cat. It's whiskers. What is it? It is whiskers. Look at that. So somebody, so a small creature has been sending me emails somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and the cat just found them. Don't just get this switch due to a shortage of available staff. We will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Your additional labor will recognize. Congratulations, your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. The Tame River Route. Oh. 
Fuck 10 teams straight from the waters within the undersoil. These ruby rules are reliable as they come. Their gentle high frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all matter of pests and predators. So don't forget to keep them well watered and well monitored. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your line checkout. Rooting for you. That's a, that's a steal. Get another video? No. once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. Uh, think. 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 Animation. Oh. Oh, I hate that. Animations are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Commoners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night, hissing or stolen household objects. Animations are usually not directly dangerous to humans and will ignore them entirely as they go about their business. Their presence as a household may indicate the interests of other potentially dangerous parties. Consumation will depart on collapse on their own or collapse on their own after accomplishing their intended function. No further action is needed. If an animation persists for more than a few days in a single location, it may be a sign more dangerous activity. In this case is it advised again. Okay. God damn me! You'd be interested in memory wish. I think your kid is gone. A closet labyrinth. Ooh. Large twisting networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners. Left behind in homes once owned by the wealthy. Owners with close closet labyrinths will often report missing clothes or the sound of distant cries coming from the closet. Oh my god. Closet labyrinths are incredibly easy to get lost in by design. They can prove especially hazardous to homeowners carrying valuable items such as gold, precious silk, or rare spices in the underperson. They are otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. A closet labyrinth is discovered is advised to lock or blockade the entrance to prevent accidental entry and diminish the lord of the labyrinth's hidden riches. It is absolutely vi vi vital a closet labyrinth be removed from a home. It is vital you know. We're just carrying gold infused paprika in their pockets. A dream weaver. Oh, uh, it's probably a spider. Yeah. Weavers are large spider like creatures and to weave dreams into reality. They are also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about. Everything being covered in webs. We'll only move into a household if no other spiders are present. Dreamweavers are parasitic in nature and feed off the dreams of humans while they sleep. But this does not cause any direct harm to humans and lead to increased anxiety and the large webs they weave can often trap dust dust and children, causing further complications. To remove a dreamweaver from a household, homeowners should refrain from sleep for as long as possible. In order to starve the creature and encourage it to find a new home. Dream words will often attempt to induce sleep by ensnaring homeowners and injecting them with a sleep inducing venom. Oh! Oh! Do not let them do- Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Uh. Can I see a picture? 
Uh, whoever has arachnophobia, look away right now. It's not showing. Flowers are long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common house plants. They're known to take root in indoor potted plants as guys themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. False flowers are harmless if left to their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will often lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. Oh. That seems like this is on the corner. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they are taking root, water regularly, and try not to notice their presence or their singing. Cobalt? Those are five foot tall humanoid creatures and doll like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make, their, make them their home. Homeowners infested with cobalt will sometimes report broken floorboards. Cobalt are harmless to humans until they are discovered, at which point they will often lash out violently to protect their home causing injury or even death. If discovered, cobbles will attempt to lure humans into their space by poking their dog-like heads out from the fine corners and whimpering. <sighs> Do not ever enter a cobble's domain. One should not attempt to remove a cobble from their home, it is strongly advised to hire professionals. <laughs> Puppy tooth in it. A rain nymph. Ugh. Rain nymphs are suspicious of nymphs that are most active during rainstorms. They are faint humanoids that glow in their eyes and often appear near windows and doors, asking to be let inside. Homeowners afflicted with rain nymphs often report flooding. Blood's rain nymphs cause can lead to water damage, which can be both costly and dangerous. Well. Rain nymphs are very preventable, but their pleas to be let inside can simply be ignored. It is advised to stay away from doors and windows during rainstorms, avoid having to endure a rain nymph's various sensations and threats. So you guys have maybe got a look. Uh can you up your maybe? Sorry, yeah, I just need a piece of sort of peace for an hour or so and so I can be getting very much up to something. Uh I can't hear you on that. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you see the piece of stuff? Some of those raining coming out from the I don't like that one. Sub-Sprite. Sub-Sprite and a subspecies of Sprite are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms, appearing similar to big bars or soap, in order to feed off the hands that use them. They secrete suds like substance that use you to digest in their meals. Soap Sprites, despite their bacteria eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases faithful to humans who handle them. They are a serious household hazard. Soap Sprites are easy to remove and dispose by the way of tongs and other grabbing utensils. Identifying soap sprites can be difficult, but it is recommended to not keep any bars of soap in the household to ensure they can be identified and removed as soon as possible. Rig tree. Oh my god. Rig trees are rapidly growing tree-like organisms that take root in a human's body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home and they continue to grow, currently reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death once they have reached certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree will lead while it is growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage that will occur as it grows. There is no cure for a sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while any other occupant in the household should vacate the premises immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from under any circumstance. Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral service as needed for the affected individual. <laughs> oh my god, it's this one, it's this one. I find a 
I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid, it says. This brick tree. Oh my god, your son is gone. Your son is dead. I will, get, I will, I will start picking coffins. That one, that one's, that one's nightmarish too. It's brick vines. Sprig vines are rapidly grown vines are known to quickly consume a house and block off exits. They are often a sign that a sprig has been provoked. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever. But the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Okay, so I thought it was like a a, a, a a call that I got wrong, but no. It left spotless. Please hold. Hang on, let me read this. Three vines are not dangerous on their own, they can be cut through with common sparring tools, however, their tendency to block exits can create struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry. Such as against a flood fire, so it's friggin' in pursuit. Oh, ho ho! Spring vines will continue to grow as long as the spring that made them desire to is advised to make it be home as soon as possible. Trash gnome. Oh, look at the little ears! Trash gnome is a piece of gnome with thick browns, brownish gray fur, frog like eyes, and large gaping mouths. They are known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside them for both food and shelter. Homeowners with trash domes often report the smell of rotted eggs, find the large clumps of fur throughout their house, hit garbage cans, and loud crunching sounds all night. Trash domes are highly territorial once home. All their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances, such as loss of a finger or nose. While attempting to discard trash or remove the trash from the receptacle, they're also capable of spreading deadly diseases to humans. These rabies are tetanus, oh my god. To prevent the trash home from homing inside your trash, it is recommended to not let trash in the home be idle for more than a day or two. Their noses are highly sensitive to the smell, to remove the trash home properly is highly advised to Some noises in my house, and after following the instructions to me, they still seem to be happening. I told you guys what was happening, but... Short story, every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Whole world made for this game. I know, I love it. So good. What could be? It leaves the... Is a hog? Must be a different hall. Not a toilet hall. They said kitchen. Specifically said the kitchen. So is it a common hub? Could that be it? They come out at night. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and commonly sticky substance on the floor that they just keep them in the process. Yeah. Does that sound like a common call? I feel like I'm... It, it pointed out specifically Kitchen and it's left spotless This one. Turn to this one. Will be <laughs> yeah, 
None of these. Is he the gnome? Is that a kitchen gnome? No, laundry gnome, it's not. Night gnome, it's not. I wish I could filter these. Kitchen horse, stop it! Ah, uh, soap sprite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with common hog. The only one I can think of. An unstoppable. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. If I'm wrong, sue me or I don't know. If you will, common hog. I don't. Know. Any other options? Maybe wrong. I don't, I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself with that one. A few entries that I cannot reach just yet. Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services. And not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Please hold. There's two options. A whistling throws with small holes in the caps. Oh, but they, she said the greenhouse. These ones come out from uh, holes in the wall. The whistling. <laughs> oh, no. <not> again. <laughs> Thinking, yeah. A fall, maybe it's a false plan, yeah. Yeah, because this one is that they come out of... Uh, ensure there are no open cracks in your home. Yeah, this one's like saying they grow from gaps in the wall in the house. Not that. It's a false flower? This one said this thing. That's creepy. <laughs> Regularly, some common house plants are known to take root indoor. Other plants is going to sell among the flowers. It's hiding in the greenhouse and singing. Or stop it! <laughs> or literally and try not to notice the presence of other singing. I don't say it happens at night, but yeah, I'm gonna say false flower. It has to be. What other thing sings in this catalog? So good. Hey, who, who are you? 
How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. Flipper? Flipper? Did a Bulgar kid them? No, wait, hold on. Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller uh -huh. with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Oh. Keep up the good work, employee. Okay. My game, my my monitor hiccup for a moment. Uh, so did you kill him? Did Carol kill him? I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Oh, this one's difficult. Please hold. I'm unable to find it anywhere. I think maybe it electrocuted itself. I'm worried because I can smell awful burning scent. Lamp fade. It was it? What was it exactly that he did? Lamp sprite. Shit! Oh, shit. No, not now. Fuck. Yeah, because it sounded like lamp sprite, because it said that it's in the electronics and they like overheat it until the light like goes out. Bad time for it because I'm not even sure if it was. It took my daughter. It took my daughter. She she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. May I interest you in a memory wisp? <laughs> yeah, I think I know what happened. Floor roots. Three brown roots are known to burn upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Memory wisp from the memory wisp forwards. <laughs> Door roots grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awaken a wary human adults. However, if it's not spotted quickly, they are not to strangle hands or even kill them as well. Move to be a priority of household. Door roots require something to wrap around before they will cease their growth. So it is advised to acquire dolls for similar human shaped fasc fascist fa fascism to give them a safer alternative. Place the dolls in the affected area and have their roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone, and the rooms they should have it once more. Like any repairs on the floor and feed it. What if actually sending a memory was something that counted as a solution? <laughs> it would have been funny. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Floor roots. Yeah, because they take a bit to take the person that they grab, so maybe he just saw it right as they took him. Oops. My condolences! Well, 
all free thinkers when horror. <laughs> Why should one of these times be the horde? It it, it, it... it... it stole me! It stole me! I'm... I'm not me anymore! I'm... It, 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 it took me! It took me! I can't see myself anymore! I'm gone! Help me! Help get me back, please! I think I know what happened. Please, hold. What is it? Mirror nymph. Mirror nymphs are a subspecies of nymphs that are known to stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They are generally small faces and voices human. They're in a large mirror that they beg others to look into. Owners afflicted by a mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Yep, go first. Yep. Mirror names will wander to different locations where nobody looks into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching their mirror names and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. <laughs> so if you say horde or gopher, I swear to god. I love, I love the image of this of having this woman just chase down this little 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 girl with a hammer. <laughs> like a like a slender woman chasing someone. <laughs> Alright. Mirror mirror nymph. Yeah, um Look 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 sis. Kill her. <laughs> the best I can give you. Catch her. Grab her. Grab her before she leaves she leaves your vicinity. Is definitely it is about to sell one's home the first time in Orchard. Yeah, yeah, woman, get out. <laughs> we gotta move, you woman, you need to move out. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> She's calling for for help, and then the, I have all the people on the other side of the phone, like, cheering. Her. It's a Flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. I I I, I think I know this one. I I appreciate. I like how I'm learning all these things. Like instead of just having to go through all of them one by one, I'm actually learning. <laughs> I'm actually learning from Please these fictional hold. creatures. I think it's now I went too far now. A night wisp. So such as a wisp when the form of bright floating lights are known to hold outside winds at night. I gotta sleep thanks to some punks outside flashing with flashlights or, or something. Yeah. You have a night wisp. Night wisp will move on to the other houses after a week or so. They are ignored and like to drown other music or words to be massive and desperate. Gambling can increase your force by 500%. You, get, you can only lose 100% of your wealth. I should step through it. 
Yeah, I think, I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. Portal. Please hold. Like, I would think it was a, a closet labyrinth, but she said the wind. So it's like, it's outdoors. It has to be portal. I forgot the alphabet. And her off with Raccoon. <laughs> so Raccoon, good luck! Safe travels! Door shape opening from the outdoor location there are, that the homeowners discover most commonly in the basements or in the ground cellars. Owners with portals frequently report cold, rust, strange dreams, and strong desire to enter. Portals can introduce a wide barrier of dangerous elements. Or should be sealed shut with blue and flame. Okay. Very funny. We get like all the wrong calls. We do the run. We'll probably, we'll probably lose because I don't think it. But it will be very funny. If we do. This might like sound strange, but I think there's some kind of like squid or something in my bathroom. Like I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tentacles or like tendrils. Or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like that little soap thing and everything. But I know it's somewhere. Like, it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. It's still gotta be hiding in here. That would be nightmarish. I would hate that so fucking much. But I think I know what it is. Please hold. I think I know what it is. Some kind of squid or something in my bathroom. Soap, sp soap sprite? Soap species of sprite are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They are frequently occupied bathrooms appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed the hands. Feed off the hands I use them. They secrete sus like substance I use them for the digestion meat. Despite their bacteria in the lifetime and frequently not to spread deadly diseases, I feel the humans handle them, making a serious household hazard. Yeah, you can see the little tendrils there, so I'm assuming. Yeah, I think I think it's I think it's soap. Especially because it's the bathroom. He pointed out in the bathroom as well. Or I would I could guess it was probably a toilet or a pipe pump, but he's making a lot of emphasis on tendrils. So has to be Soap, soap sprite. Yeah, I'm thinking like, oh, a hobble would be cool to have, but they, they, they said that they would do metamorphosis and fucking grow. No. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go, go, I'm putting my money on soap sprite. Fuck, fuck, get some tweezers and get, get rid of that thing. Yeah, we did it. Another day. And human DNA confirmed. This one, do I have a guy over there? Address is no longer active. 
If you receive this email, it's because you have been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline. As of 30 of April, this address will be shut down and no longer able to send the receipt. Oh, this one's who was the guy. So I'm guessing was. I think it's a former employee, but it was like that he's hiding here. The cat found him. He's probably dead. First of all, he's probably dead now. Congratulations, your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Tag hide! Source cruelty free from the parish and treated with our flower scented formula. These are the best quality hack hides you'll find. This mod only will even throw an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven. It will be sleep easier, sleep safer. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> uh, hate that. Yeah, it's auntie. It's auntie. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, let's. What's this? Quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. Into the cave. <laughs> Inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Huh? Follow the lights. Do not stray. The 
If you hear the sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. That's easily a very cool analog horror short. It, it, it's really good at so. <laughs> uh, but again, I got to play that weird shit is also in nature. Yeah, it's just like it's not like we're dealing with supernatural shit that it's out of control. It's just everything is normalized. Like this is type of like fairy, fairy tale type of creatures. Like this, like witches. The gnomes or like tiny, tiny creatures, magical beings, they're all just part of the world now. It's like we're just like used to it. <laughs> we're just, it's just like part of the world, and it's just we just need to walk around it. <laughs> okay. So the nation's beautiful and horrifying. We wore the pets and small children. Just adorable Tuesday. Yeah. I'm assuming we're gonna get the whole catalog now. I suck being a kid. Oh, absolutely. Everybody wants to kill you. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Okay. Dorcha. Dorcha is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorcha commonly report feelings of immense dread and sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of great lurking shadow. Oh my god. Yeah. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there, because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me, what to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Bat? Please hold. Sounds like a bat. Torture will deliver that that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Torture is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. To be sought by Dorcha is to be found by Dorcha. If you are a lot one or sought by Dorcha, it is advised to grieve and find peace through a symptom. <laughs> She's shit. Oh, the, the screen is glitching. Wine sprite? You're right. It, it flies and it takes Pinot Noir's wine? Leprechaun, neighbor's doorway. Hookah. The animation. A Spriggan. Troll. A warlock remnant. A okay, wine sprite. Yeah. Wine sprites are not directly dangerous to humans, they are known to spread various deadly diseases, including the fatal fate flu. We remove as soon as possible. Have long proposed this, they think they used to drink. Homeowners inspected with wine sprites only with broken glasses and their wine having rotten taste and smell. Yeah, flapping and drinking. Uh, yeah, because I was thinking, oh, it's bad. But no, a bat would not drink wine. <laughs> Point spring. Like 
Let's go from bottom to the top. A warlock remnant. Oh. Okay. Residual presence often left behind by former warlocks. Most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, or underground dwellings. Homeowners experiencing warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own. The sound of hostile warning whispers or sighting beer figures on the abstracted surface. Like a poltergeist. It looks like Leshy. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens and something is leaking out of it. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. What's the question? Please hold. What's the question? Pink viscous liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It is noted to drift from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky pulling buildup. Wooden secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if, it, if ingested. Keep animals and human children away from secretions at all costs, as its foul odor will be interpreted as sweet candy like smell to them. You can never see of dual attack accidental ingestion. Crickets are not going to be devoured anytime soon. Yeah, she will be fine. You're a good, you're a good mother, Ruth. Remove the hazard from a home. The offend, the offending wood, replace entirely. Prevent wood from entering the secretion station. Show good care of sticking towards wood in the home. Refrain from scratching, knocking, or banging the wooden surface. Do not ever insult or shout at wood. Yeah, you have a wood secretion. Okay. A troll. Ah, look at this. Trolls are giant, twelve foot tall nocturnal creatures that are normally are not seen in the home. However, during the winter, they would deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Someone who's infested with a troll with Frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. Please hold. Yeah. Trolls are very dangerous to humans when they are startled thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to their full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its possibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings of most homes fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll. An active troll will leave the by morning once it has secured its bounty. It is recommended to install repellent fixtures such as UV lights to prevent future breakings. A Spriggan. What is it? Our small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings in their bodies they are seen rarely in households or reside probably inside trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report a rapid vine growing in and around their home and the feeling that the trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked, and physical contact with one will result in the growth of sprig tree within the affected individual. Ugh, this shit. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked, however, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night left, left in a clean dish on your porch. porch. Do you see? Do you see the spring in here? I don't. I don't fucking see whatever. Is it a curtain? No. I don't know what it is. There's someone watching me outside, something's moving around the trees, and I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes, I don't know who they are. The window? 
Oh, this? This over here? Yeah, I think I, I can tell a bit. Yeah, I think I can. Okay, I see your point. Is there a sound for the troll? Okay, it's a spriggan. You got a spriggan. Because the police asked him if he provoked a spriggan, so yeah, it's. Animation. Animations are remains only in creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations come their work foul smells, all being dragged inside the home. Large holes in the ground appear near or around. It's a skeleton! It's just a skeleton! It's <laughs> My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? You high? Please hold. Animations are capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites that lead to humans, so close proximity or contact should be avoided at all costs. They're also commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners and are incredibly adept at hiding and waiting for vulnerable moments. Jesus Christ. The animation's pursuit is slow but relentless, for relocation is not necessary or advisable. This is why to contact any friends, neighbors, or strangers that the homeowner may have recently lighted a peace or bargain. So it's like, do a good deal or like, settle, settle all conflicts, is that what I'm saying? Puka. Hate that. Pukas are shapeless creatures. Sliding is like wrong. Okay. Pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly have homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They're known for the tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners which Pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Oh god. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind. And over time, create other pests and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell signifies decay, and the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Hookahs can be encouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Hookahs thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners, refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them, make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. Oh god. Oh my god, I hate that. Sounds like a dog. Neighbor's doorway. Neighbor's doorway or doorframe like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through, as well as parallelism. Neighbor's doorway do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activities, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories if a human comes to the other side. Neighbor's doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them, and potentially triggering any parallel activity. It is advised to utilize doorway removal services. One can prevent neighbor's doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for alternate life spots. Oh, so it's like... Another dimension type of thing? <laughs> Hi, cat! Leprechaun! Americans are small even though he's covering long brown hair that are known to consuming common household valuables such as jewelry, silverware, and other pretty precious metals. Did we kill anyone there? No, fortunately everyone's fine. In addition to being a household nuisance, Leprechaun's appetite for precious metals can also cause a long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they are not properly protected. Additionally, leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in case where homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! I hate. <laughs> oh! Oh no! That's bad. 
That's really fucking bad. Leprechauns will move on their own, onto other feeding grounds on their own once they run out of food. The more proactive means of removal require physical capture. If immediate removal is desired, it is recommended to use personal help. A leprechaun saw this the catalytic converter of my G. Can you fucking imagine if this thing eats metal and it targets you because you have a prosthetic or like braces? Oh god, that would be awful. That hag. I have a feeling that it's gonna be. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought it would be. I knew him about a leprechaun wasn't in their house. Do they make noise? Yes. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Okay, bad hag. Bad hags are large human creatures but elderly woman like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath bed, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homer is infected with bad hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night, or the feeling of heavy weight on their chest at night. So it's like an actual sleep paralysis, even. Bad hags are not dangerous to most healthy human adults. Small children and humans suffer from breathing problems such as asthma, baby, ad adversely affected by depression. So, yeah, fuck, fuck children again. <laughs> Bad hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night causing a shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. Bad hags can in fact be beneficial to a home as their presence can frighten off other pests such as various insects or mice. In the cases where bad hag is undesirable, it's a... <laughs> I don't know, I'd rather have mice than, a, than an old woman under my bed. <laughs> Autumn vines. Autumn vines are vines with orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over the house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. The pheromones autumn vines release in the air while not toxic and often cause household accidents thanks to their blissful dizzying effects. Yeah. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move, the way they grow around the house. To remove autumn vines from a household, Locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out by the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. Oh, lost that leprechaun sound sample, which is a saw saw blade powering up. <laughs> and that's kind of Shinto? I, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, this woman is clearly high, so it's autumn, autumn vines. Ah. Says, if step through the resulting parallelism will often result in all one the household activities such as alter behavior or perceiving missing memories in the human comes to the other side. Jail take your meds. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's a neighbor's doorway. Doorway. I don't know. Otherwise, it's a portal, but the other one's like a portal will take you to, the, to an outdoors. Hi. Yeah, there's this awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room, and when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might. Be in the house because who knows how big this thing is i mean 
My dog can't even lay down something that big. Please hold. Uh, sounds like a fake piece. Meat large size pounds of berries, edible food substances and fruit, including flour, cornmeal, and berries. The fungi. There are no to appear need eating areas of the home. Not going to like the answer. <laughs> These are not dangerous to consume, but left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activities. Like continue presence and attract other household pests. Feasts are a sign of a hospital presence, as such, should be consumed immediately. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> One sided to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. For maximum sure safety, all members of the home should partake in the feast. Oh, oh, Claire, 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 I am. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. They doesn't smell? Are you sure? Smells like eggs. Yeah, well, what could be sulfur? Yeah, what could be then? What could leave something in the. Not that bad, not bad, you know. I am rarely, very much seen. What leaves a rotting egg smell? Nothing sounds like it. It's not a, not a raccoon. Uh, not a seedling. Dicks? Rush? No, no. Feast. But what else could it be? Just it left it on the dining area, the dinner table. Various edible food substances. Frequently including flour, cornmeal, or various pieces of fungi. So maybe they just left eggs go to waste. That's why it was. Oh no, she didn't say it was poop. The disgusting pile of crap. Not like crap as in shit. Crap as in like a lot of stuff. Awful smell of rotting eggs coming from the dining room. So you have like already two things like it's just like apparently something edible on the dinner table. Um, I'm going to Fae Feast, I'm sorry, I, I, I have no other idea. Solution to this one. The feast are assigned a hospital press it should be consumed immediately. <laughs> hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not 
sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Please hold. My kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 cans of pesticides all over the place, but I've just grown. Did a bed hang? Because a bed hack scares off other pests. But sure, the easy solution would be like bed bugs. But he already took measurement. Like, if he had a bed bugs, he would have handled that. Like, he would use. He said he was like. Wash and scrub all the bed sheets as much as possible. Itchy keys look at. I'm thinking bad hag because if he took if he took the the effort to clean the sheets and like make sure there was nothing in them and not something in the bed. They do be itchy too. Those bad hag kids shouldn't be itching anyways. And what makes them itch? Jibber, 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 watch out. Why do one do- Oh, you're right, what was it? Uh, there was a dream weaver? A dream weaver. We dreams into reality, I also know who goes my monitor to die again. Okay, good. I dream about everything being covered in webs all the way into a house full of no other spiders are present. Speed of the dreams of humans while they sleep, while this does not cause any direct harm, it can lead to increased anxiety in the large webs they weave, can often trap dust, pets, and children, causing further complications. Doesn't imply anything about itching. Jibber, please, jibber, jibber. I think he needs food, hang on. Hey, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I know. Are you a piece? Or you have this in your defense? You have any argument? I think it's a bad hag. Give her. Or no. You have to say. What do you have to say? Eek. Okay, fine, go. I actually don't know what this one maybe. It's not Betty. Not Betty because he said that he cleaned the sheets. Not on mine. It's not a bat. Not black mole, not a bogart, not carbon monoxide, not carpenter ant, not a cellar grotto, not a cellar growth, not a cross labyrinth, not cockroaches, not chipper, <laughs> not a common hob, not a desk hob, not a door shell, whatever this thing is. They say that they're waking up at 4 a.m. It's not really a dream weaver because it's like the dream weaver forces them to sleep. Not, not a faith feast, not a faith flu. What was the faith flu there again? Dizziness, fatigue, color, deliriousness, and endless dreams. Not, it's not this one. False artifact, it's not. A false beat, it's not. A false rose push, no. Floor roots? No, not floor roots. House spider? My humans when threatened, but venom is not strong enough to harm a human. They will often keep the cells that left on their own devices. No. What's the laundry don't know? He hides in the washing machine and pretends to be a towel. And he just trashes the machine from the inside every time you put something to <laughs> something in it in it. Yeah, he still your socks too. Mice is not, Marinip is not, Mold is not, Nero is always not, Night Gnome is not. Not Night Gnome or Night Wish. Wisp. Not Pipe Growth, not Pipe Hob. Not a Puka. Not a rain nymph. Not a reanimation. It's not a seedling. Termites, ticks, pillowtop, trash gnome, travel gnome, unicorn fungi. Bad hag? Could that be the. That, that sounds like the only one that. Because it is specifically pointing out there's nothing on the bed. Like they cleaned it. He cleaned the, sh the, the, the beds. He said he tried everything about that. So it's not either bed box or bed teeth. Has to be bed hag.
All children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may adversely be affected by their presence. Dead hacks are known to steal the breath of the sleeping subjects at night causing the shortness of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. I die, die, I'm not in the I'm working with very little. So yeah, whatever. Whatever it may be. Okay, you wanna explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway, we're still freezing our butts off over here. So tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. They're more difficult. They're getting more difficult. My home's heater has been having issues. Nothing's changed after the following instructions. Please hold. Teeth hurting. Could it be carbon monoxide? Could it be something simple? Yeah, okay, so it could be anything, yeah. Because they didn't give us a best of report, she was at least sitting in it. What is it? What is it in your mind, TK? Uh, no, it doesn't look like car carbon monoxide. What could affect Pete's teeth and the heat? Is it the leprechaun? Is it the leprechaun? Yeah, because I'm thinking. Leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases of homeowners having metallic medical implants such as braces, rounds, or joint replacement. Yeah. We don't know if the kid has had had braces. Hi Onyx. And the heater's not working. Do you have a leprechaun? <laughs> Long term damage to heater, this is not a common appliance system around for Sounds like it's ripping something metallic and then chewing on it. <laughs> yeah, the, it's a case in danger. Uh, we're all, I think we're close. We already unlocked every entry, so I think we're close to the end. I'm going leprechaun. Yeah, that key. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> all right. Hopefully that was correct. I don't like my hair. I want my. You think Carol is Dorsha? That would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. I think some pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. <sighs> I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Cool. Do you have any advice you can send me? Cool. Please hold. They will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Sound of them deflating. You hear that, right? Yeah, that there it is. Yeah, it's a troll. 
That one's easy. It's a troll. Yeah, it says I got a pop and then. Totally <laughs> not. <laughs> you know what I mean. Troll. Can you imagine. To, can you imagine getting that answer? Oh, yeah, you have a. You have a 12 foot creature entering your home. Just let him be. <laughs> Right. Please hold. Uh -huh, how's the solution? I love. Yeah, it's just either get out, uh, find a good funeral home, <laughs> grieve faster, <laughs> or just let them be. <laughs> oh wait, T T T T T T. You like the Green Reaper is coming for you. Accept your fate. It's a T sprite. Shit. Well, it's a tea sprite. I know because they specifically mentioned tea leaves and Yeah, it's all about tea. Trust me. Trust me. Tila, trust me on this. I was like, hey, you're gonna do the memory thinking for grief fast. Yeah, that one's amazing, like the false artifact. And this is like the one mother that's just like fucking desperate, like, please tell me what happened to my son. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> You will never see him back. <laughs> and it's even worse because it says that the false artifact takes years to digest. And it's also saying like, no matter what our noise the prey makes, it will not be heard. <laughs> it's just something like, you have a dying kid being eaten by a, by a random prop. <laughs> Can we get my net? Can I get my internet back? The horde of ghosts. Yeah, those are on top four. Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath. Oh, at the shit. Same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? This one is the bed hag. Please hold. And what the fuck was the other one? Well, could be the other one. I have no idea. Is it just bed bugs? Would it just be bed bugs? I know it's a bad hang. I could, but, but that doesn't make sense. Like, mm. there we go. yeah, I get maybe. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for Occam's, Occam's razor and being the basic one. Can I see it now? Yes, whistling phone guy. Q. 
you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are really dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. It, it doesn't even tell exactly what they do. Okay, whistling. A whistling fungi. That one, that one came out of left field because it was like the most simple one. You know, it was like a simple solution. It's usually the right one. Yeah. You just like create holes in the walls by growing. Yeah, but like it says, it, it's implying that there's if they're singing, get out. Like maybe something happens if you hear them. Oh, there you go. Bedbugs have delivered resistance to the majority of pesticides, therefore quite difficult to remove. I should have read that. Read that. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It, it smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Please hold. I think... I think your meatball is not meatball. Discarded bodies of household pals that leave behind can never create time to pass on disease hazards within the home as foul signal signifies decay. The discarded bodies should be found removed immediately. Jim whistling means enough have grown to compromise their home to the so they're going to collapse. Maybe. Smells terribly rotting. Yeah, that's your actual dog. Oh no, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Pugas <laughs> can be encouraged to leave at home by not drawing attention to your activities. Just like, yeah, fully ignore. Fully ignore meatball. Or not meatball. I hate that thing. Just standing there. Yeah, it's actually really clever that you get so many bizarre cases, like so many different supernatural creatures, but the moment that it says a bed bug, you don't think it's a bed bug. <laughs> what? What's your, what's your oh, hold on. That's... Did that sound like like a like mice? <laughs> He's mice now. Yeah, the, the guy who was the guy who was sending us emails was also mice because he was small enough to be in a hole and took a picture of the of the cat. The browser. I can check freely. Go for Scott. <laughs> nice wallpaper. Oh, it's a hole now. Congratulations. We are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. What? Assuming you pass a trial. What? Spoilers Feratel. Keep up the great work and therefore working through the weekend. What? A daily coupon. Well, you're simply too tired. The glamour stone. 
But you're simply too tired to concentrate or if you just want to look at your best without the stress or glamour stones are here to put you at ease. With our patented protective seal, glamour stones have a 99% reliability rating. Give your discount, simply type the following code. Wham glam, thank you, ma'am. The regular you work over the weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's the most evil part. I don't like where this is going. It's gonna happen. Thy trial hath begun. What? Oh no. Uh. We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen, what are we? Please hold. I'm flying solo. Uh, bees. Queen bees. Yeah, we are many, we are above. We are followers of the queen, but bees. Simple enough. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for the follow. Showcase thy knowledge. Okay. Or ants. Yeah. But like they said above. We are above. If it was ants, it would be underground. Ladder. I am small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Please hold. I don't fucking know. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. Animation? Yeah, because it said that animation was like a. a a messenger or a harbinger of something worse. And it was like a doll. could mean a, a lot of these can fit a, a handful but it's the fact that it says I serve my purpose and I die a lot of these are just straight up saying they, 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 they don't do that animation is like the only one that sounds like thing if I'm not. <sighs> I don't know if I'm doing it right forge ahead of the sky what am I please hold there was one uh, rain I am the beggar I am the encroacher of the dry encroacher of what what did encroacher meant I, I want to be, I want to be sure encroacher I, I, I 
I heard it before, but I don't know. I'm, I don't remember the meaning. Person who unlawfully occupies a piece of land. Yeah, rain nymph, because she, like, she tries to convince you to let her inside, and soak, uh, soak whatever it is that she tries to get in. I am friend of the water of the sky, rain. Jibber, can you stop kicking the camera? Look at this little. This. He's his beans are blocking the the, the where where the camera should be. But yeah, I cannot put the camera because he's pushing it. Okay, he rolled over. Okay, thank you for being so generous and let me have this. Yeah, bye, bye. <laughs> right name, rain, rain name. Press on, employee. The Buka. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. Please hold. I wanna say I I wanted to say Dorcha. I wanted to say Dorcha, but it sounds like mice, right? Because yeah, as I am the harbinger of death, the bringer of pestilence, who be the skeleton or Dorcha. But it says I am forever the nuisance. It's like it, it's implying that it's like. <laughs> Skeleton, don't stop. We we had that one video on the on the desktop that said like, oh, the these those little creatures brought the plague or did this and that. I think mice. I think the answer will be mice. It will be more simpler. Yeah, the pl exactly. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm I'm leaning towards mice. Yeah, there was Dorcha, which was like a shade, like 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 a shadow entity that would just stalk somebody, and if that person saw it, they're dead. That's like more individual, more specific. Then there's reanimation, which is the slow skeleton that just pours disease everywhere and tries to kill you. Which uh, it would work, but it's like it doesn't fully fit what I'm hearing. Go mice. Like it sounds too big of a deal, but it's... Rejoice! Can I do it? Within and their loser way. What am I? Please hold. I know. I know. I know. I know. I did. We. I read this one once, and it never was brought up. But it's a cluster labyrinth. It. It appears in clusters of the wealthy. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within, and they lose their way. Cluster labyrinth. <laughs> Man, I'm good. <laughs> Expand thy mind. You know. I'll call her. I 
are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Oh, that was difficult. We're companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no Please longer. Please hold. Feelings? I don't remember exactly what they did. Oh, the Spriggan is a good choice. Yeah. Yeah, a, a Spriggan would be a good choice because they like, they... They get provoked when you disturb nature. Because a Spriggan is the source of the Sprig tree the sp and the Sprig vines. Yeah, sounds like a Spriggan. And it says... We compel those who tread to tread no longer. So it's like, yeah, don't fuck with me. Dylan <laughs> kills weed, and if you try to move with yourself, they try to make you hurt yourselves. Oh, that ah shit, that's a good one. Fuck. Oh man. Oh, I'm torn now. We compel. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. So it would lead to... It would lead to seedling. Yeah, because it's like... It, it's the choice of wars. Both raise good points. What's getting me? You just write both. <laughs> a a sprigling, a, a seed gun. Yes. I also search the by hand. Uh. I'm gonna go Spriggan. Go to friend. We'll get a good cool <laughs> I'm going Spriggan because maybe that's the most popular option. You give me a hint if you can, Onyx. Like something, uh. Otherwise, I'm going Spriggan. It sounds like Spriggan more. Seedling seems more like territorial. Uh, is one of the, yeah okay so yeah I'm not, I'm not. right idea Spriggan doesn't really compel yeah it forces you no Spriggan mode Because Spriggan doesn't compel, it just gets angry at you. It, it just, it's a Spriggan just gets angry at you and it fucks your house up or fucks you up. Yeah, Spriggan turns you into a tree. Seedling sounds like because it's a. It's the, the part that says compel that's like. Stick it with me. Yeah, that's fair. I'm going. I think I'm going to see Lynn. Uh, and it says like. And seedling is like a lot of them. Seedling already, when you report them, is like a huge. Uh, uh, an amount of them. A spriggan can be just one. It's talking in plural, too. That's another thing I should keep in mind. Because Spriggan is just like one, one green guy trying manipulating the plant. But seedling is more uh, plural. Every answer has been unique, as far as I know. 
Yeah, we never had two Spriggans or... Yeah, we never had a, a seedling at all. Yeah. We did have two common hops, but that was like way back. Seedling. The go thy stilted soul. I don't know if I'm doing right or wrong right now. No idea. Dancer, I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am forsaking oil and the careless light. It looks like a mole. Please hold. I am the dancer, I am the bringer of destruction. Consume the weak and the reckless. And the forsaking oil and the careless light. Carbon monoxide. Could that be it? Could that be it? Could that be carbon monoxide? Or fire? Fire. How's fire? Dancer. A dancing flame. Bringer of destruction, consume the weak and the reckless. I'm forsaking oil and the careless light. Fire. A house fire. We have that. Because yeah, the de the the adjective of dancing. Can be referred to a flame. Could be a gopher. Yeah, it should. Bringer of destruction. Fire. Consume the weak. Fire. And the reckless. Fire. The forsaking oil. And the careless light. I like fire. Uh, I'm I'm put I'm focusing on that one. Send. Oh yeah, it was more like the way the way it was so poetic. Made it more like uh, made the answer more simple. Seeker, I am the one who delivers. What am I? Please hold. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hear me out. Dorcha. Dorcha had a specific. Like, it shows the words carefully and it said something about delivering or deliverance. Like, it's just del delivering something. So I think Dorcha is the one. Because Dorcha is the one that had that specific choice of words. On that one. Yeah, because it, it used both terms seeker and deli deliver. Like, seek for someone, and I don't know something about their delivers. I don't remember that. Maybe if I can see it later. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Okay. 
Promotion in progress. Please stand by. part of the coupons and keep them fun games I played. Can I check? Can I read the whole thing? Yeah, it's been a while since I've played that actual game that I threw the shit out of. Unemployment immunity always display accuracy. Add button to skip call wait time. Oh. Art book. I think life's a greater home safety hotline. If you're here reading this, it hopefully means you're invested enough in this game to be curious about its development. So here comes the right place. This is a peek into the game's art, development process, and all human messiness that entails. I hope you enjoy this thorough. When I was 10 or 12 years old, my grandmother gave it to me a Dungeons and Dragons monster manual she picked up from the thrift store. Really, I fell in with this book despite having no idea what its purpose was. I scoured spaces constantly, learning everything I could about its many, many imaginative creatures. I started developing games, very much wanted to make a game out of the pure joy I experienced with the bestiary. Many games have featured in-game beast series, but rarely is it important to actually read through them too much detail. That's really cool. <laughs> my first time crafting a game based around my love for beast series was a game aptly titled Beast Jerry, a fantasy game in which you play as a researcher testing the dead bodies of monster corpses with various magical implements in the attempt to write an accurate beast Jerry entry for them, learning properties as you went. This prototype narrowly made it past the conceptual stage with these concepts are art pieces like the crude interactive UI being as far as I took it. I wasn't fully happy with this direction, I was rather art heavy seemed too generic and felt like felt a little like the activity inspired. Keep ahead a while and my wife and I wind up both getting jobs as actors at a local fantasy theme park. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> Wish she played a playful fairy and it was a puppeteer thing big monster called Fake King. I love that. The park gave a lot of improvisational freedom to its actors and my wife and I both wound up really stretching some creative muscles while we were there. Today we'll be crafting up stories on the spot for guests and improvising scenes with other actors. Eventually many of the actors quit or were let go, but the park left a substantial creative void within many of the people who work there, myself included. As time went on I sorely missed performing and improvising with other actors at the constant but rewarding creative challenge of tail weaving and the lore creating on the fly. 100 bestiary. During the pandemic, as things felt increasingly dire and lonely, I wrote up a new design document entitled 100 bestiary. We have an answering calls for a hotline that describes solutions uh, to various kinds of monster infestations. 
The hope was, with the color angle, I'll be able to wrangle a bunch of actor friends into this fun and quick project, and maybe we all get a chance to recreate some of the creative spark. The priorities came came up with other projects I was developing, so 1-800 BCR remained on the back burner for another three years. And La Horror. In 2022, I released a horror game called Night Signal, which I played. I've been trying to finish for the past few years, and while the game didn't perform great financially, it sure seemed to resonate with also YouTube's comment section. Because I'm a weak human who craves validation, naturally, I read each and every comment as it came, and I would see some people say Night Signal reminded them of analog horror. I got into curiosity and started going down this analog horror rabbit hole. Once again, I'm immediately fell in love here with this incredibly fascinating subgenre horror car, that that oozes with creativity in the secondhand approach to storytelling, all while being wrapped in an instantly recognizable and nostalgic aesthetic. When I Home Entertainment particularly quickly became my favorite with its subdued approach of presenting to horrors so matter of factly. Very inside informational videos within mundane topics like I yeah, that's a it's specific type of horror that I love. Through my newfound love affair with Ala Horror, it occurred to me that at some point that the genre would be perfect match with one hundred V Siri gameplay. By the way, I revived the pitch and started the crafting working prototype. But with Windows 95 and Spark interface, since the analog horror was frequently channeling 90s era media formats and it felt like the only natural digital equivalent. I only crafted this quick proof of concept piece before building the interface engine and iterating from there. The new working title was Lunar Archives as I tentatively decided the new concept would revolve around aliens. At this time, the idea was that the aliens monsters would be some from anywhere in the world that opened the largest number of creative possibilities. I struggled to come up with interesting monsters in such a broad setting, however, and it didn't really feel scary yet to read about a monster that lives nowhere near me. That, that's fair. Beast Jerry personal interest increased felt like they needed to be more personal to be scary, so I decided the monsters should all be things that live in your house. Out of curiosity, I asked my wife one day if she knew any folklore about monsters that live in your house. The answer was goblins. <laughs> I suddenly grabbed one of my sketchbooks so I could do the weird goblins and a new, more fitting battle idea. Yeah, look, look at this dude. As soon as I started reading about house goblin folklore, I instantly felt like the kid again, and monster ideas just started flowing out. The first monster design that it was the first hob photo, I'd go right into Photoshop and start painting my interpretation of a little goblin into a photograph of living room. Trevor Henderson style. Trevor Henderson is the guy who made uh, Iron Head. The, the, the guy who made the design of it. I gave a little troll doll style tufts and some simple slits for eyes, trying to evoke a Guillermo del Toro-esque spirit of grounded scary but whimsical. After drawing my first hob, I got a little carried away in my sketchbook dream of different varieties as little guys and detailing how they would function. Different hair and false faces would denote different species and bring them close in line with the big nose goblin designs everyone's familiar with. Look at all the... <laughs> I love those. It's take long for me to go deep diving into Wikipedia to discover more stories of Faye and begin interpreting them under the lens of a newfound design ethos, treating each creature as though it were simply some kind of bizarre animal. Rehanza makes so much- he does, he does, it's really fucking cool. The idea for the inflatable trolls came from a mix between the folklore trolls and spriggans, where spriggans were said to be small creatures that would grow an enormous, to an enormous size. When I read this, it made me think of pufferfish, and it will, and I laughed I tried to picture that such a creature would look like when deflated. I give this ability to the trolls because folklore usually portrayed them as too big to enter people's homes and spriggans felt like they had plenty of distinctive qualities already. Thank god, look at this. <laughs> when drawing monsters, I frequently would find myself having to paint an entire monster in order to get certain poses to feel accurate before erasing parts of them later to hide them behind some furniture or blurring them to oblivion. And then, of course, they will be crushed into tiny pixels by the end. Less is more draw, but I still had to draw them more to get there. Oh my god! This is up close as worse! I'm scared by a little stupid silly thing as such. Both humor and horror can feel like one and the same sometimes. When I read about the stories of the puka who pretends to be a horse just to buck people around to scare them for a laugh, I thought it would be what the indoor model equivalent might be, and immediately thought of the vital photos of tiny dogs crookedly staring at their owners. This is a result that it might be my proudest artistic achievement. <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> uh. These gnomes in particular may have suffered the most the most from the reduction in, in image fidelity when compared to the paintings. So here they are on the higher definition glory. Look at them. Look at the little guy. 
Okay, I see it now. The Spriggan, by far, may be the hardest creature to spot. I'll, 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 throughout development, I've asked playtesters to try and find the Spriggan. No one has found the Spriggan. I consider this a failure on my part as a designer, but instead, I left it as is the final product. Makes of this what you will. Eh. So, it's another creature I painted in far more detail before blurring him to hell and back. Look. <laughs> Um, yeah, that is true. You can spot him if you work on it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I did not. Oh, that's worse. The Borg is maybe the most traditionally spooky creature of this time for HSH. This with this uncanny human like face and long slender figure. After reading into Bogart lore and finding out they are sort of the forefathers of our modern day boogeyman, it seems only fitting to make the Bogart more traditionally ghoulish. Oh my god, I hate it. This rationale was inspired by fan suggestions described as Oscar the Grouch, but worse. The thought of a Muppet, Muppet eat creature with a large mouth and lives in the trash was too entertaining to pass up. To create the trash name, I took a photo of a raccoon and rearranged his eyes and head to create a scruffy little friend here. And this is once again another creature where I created more than that would, would be seen in the end result. Home sweet, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The source photographs for entries, I would browse free use CCO photography libraries for photos that looked like they would be perfect for photoshopping a monster with them. For an occasion, I would stumble upon a photograph that would be so intriguing on its own, it would be inspired to write an entry for it as is. This photo, for example, by Tasha Kamrowski, was immediately captivating and inspired the mirror nymph entry on its own. I changed the skin tone to up the creep factor slightly, but the photo is otherwise unaltered. That looks really good. And then in plain sight. I give people question ordinary objects in their home is both quite funny and quite creepy. That's something that these fans suggested entries. Soap sprite and laundry gnome. Okay, I did not notice at all this the, the laundry gnome. The design for sprites was said to be a mix between mosquitoes car, and more traditional fairy designs. In general, I am frightened by m most flight insects and so I wanted to get the idea of having a little fairy in your home to get people like me the shivers. The Warlock Gremlin is in fact an edited photograph of me wearing a Halloween mask from my childhood along with a cheap vampire costume I have from past Halloweens. How cute, my delete later. The concept of coupons came about after I received feedback from demo players asking for more motivation to play in the game well. Playing the game poorly would net you more interesting content in the form of consequence calls. I thought that pointless employee discounts for products offered by HSH would make for funny yet lower heavy content for high scoring incentives and based on the look of the product images of 90s informational ads. Originally, the game over ending was such simple to the point, with Carol firing the player and wiping their memory before sending them on their way. After the promotion ending was written, it was decided to come up with something a little more whimsical for the game or the better suit the world of HSH. Inspired by Roald Dahl's The Witches, we came up with the idea that Carol should turn the player into a mouse instead, so that's what happened to the person that was emailing us. On the morning of the shoot, I molded these props on the air drying clay, I painted them with acrylic paint, and then hastily glued some fuzz crud store fur onto them. David, David then held these in front of the camera while filmed the ending of my live, on my living room floor. Originally, the player received a promotion at the end of their ship on Saturday, but it felt a bit too abrupt to go from otherwise normal workday to the game's fantastical ending on this final single call. The river brainstorming we wound up coming up with a dedicated final trial day. Where you will be called by cryptic code callers testing your knowledge with riddles, all without having access to your database and information. When the game's ending was written, in order for music to be composed for early on, this crude animated storyboard or animatic was created in order to dictate the pacing and structure of the ending, so music could be written for it. The animatic and the music will later also serve to guide the pacing of the actual shoot, with David shouting out the appropriate cues as we film. I love the little try. <laughs> promotion crown. The promotion crown was a unique prop and got hot glued together out of various crafts and some materials, including a small wreath, little curvy sticks, and fake mushrooms. Given the players only getting their first promotion, the materials involved are all more crude and common than the more lavish crown that fake Carol wears. In addition to the role, Carol Courtney also designed the final makeup and goes to look for fake Carol in the game's ending cutscene, depicting Carol in her truer, more ancient form. In Courtney's own words, I want to look like a proper swamp witch. Face Carol costume was also pieced together by Courtney herself, utilizing stress netting of fox moss and stressed black shirt. Finally, top it all with a crown fashion for fox twigs and leaves. I adore this. 
I love the amount of effort that is put into this, the detail. It's really good. It's a really good game. It's a really good fucking game. <laughs> I'm glad I played this. But yeah, uh, I played too much. I played four hours and a half of this. I'm good. Yeah, that must have been so fun to even make. I enjoyed the shit out of that. I'm glad I played that.